Hey guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and today iOS 10 was released. As is yearly tradition, I wanted to compare iOS 10 to the last iOS 9 update, being 9.3.5 across the range of every device supporting it. Well, iPhone side anyways. So I just want to see, is it worth the update speed-wise? This is very important for me. I want to know if iOS 10 is going to be any faster versus 9.3.5. So from a pure speed standpoint, how is iOS 10 compared to iOS 9? Let's find out. All right, so starting with the three oldest devices, the iPhone 5, 5S, and 6, we're going to do a startup test to see if it's slower or faster on iOS 10. iOS 9 is with the blue background on the left, green is iOS 10. Let's get started. Starting up in 3, 2, 1. So in earlier beta tests, uh, it was actually pretty close, but iOS 10 was slower in every single test. I haven't done a speed test since beta 2. Hopefully in between beta 2 and beta 8, there was some improvement in terms of speed. Anyways, let's find out here. And looks like iOS 9 was faster significantly versus iOS 10. Wow, even the 5S booted faster than the 6 uh, on iOS 10. Wow, yeah, definitely slower than iOS 9. Last is the iPhone 5. And yes, iOS 9 was faster significantly here. So if you have an iPhone 5, you're going to feel the effects of iOS 10 the most. All right, and the same deal with the faster phones, the 6S and SE, starting up in 3, 2, one. So they're off. And again, 9.3.5 is on the left. So I'm rooting for this guy, 9.3.5 SE. It was the fastest to start up in every iPhone comparison. So it should hold true here. And yes, it has the absolute fastest. Next is iOS 10 SE and 9.3.5 on the 6S with iOS 10 coming in last. So it looks like if you're updating iOS 10, you're gonna have a slower startup on every single device. Let's do some device specific tests, starting with the iPhone 5, the slowest of the bunch. Is the click home to unlock gonna save you any time? So from the lock screen, let's try slide to unlock and click, and they're pretty much the same here. Animation wise, control center, ooh, little delay there. Notification center, yeah, a little bit choppy, but once you do get into it, they're gonna start working a little bit better. So really not much of a change there. Opening the app switcher, one, two, pretty much open up at the same time. I'm gonna clear it out real quick and going into settings, one, two, actually just about the same. And a sub menu, a little bit faster on 9.3.5, but otherwise pretty much the same. So look at this, closing apps before opening them, has a huge advantage with iOS 10. I mean, just look at that. It takes so long to close that app after clicking the home button. And App Store. So let's load a web-based app real quick. Faster to load on 9.3.5. And lastly, the camera. So this one is supposedly gonna open up faster on iOS 10. One, two. Oh yeah, actually just a little bit faster. So in terms of animations, I'm not seeing a big downgrade at all. I mean, it's pretty much exactly the same. That's what I like to see. Next up, iPhone 5S. I gotta tell you, I just set up the Touch ID and it happened much faster on this guy. Like it just scans it faster, I don't know why. So I'm feeling like the fingerprint unlock will be a little bit better here. Let's try it out from the lock screen. One, two, with the display on, exactly the same. With the display off, one, two, and exactly the same, no change. Control center, oh. Definitely an advantage for iOS 10 there. Notification center, eh, just about the same. So both pretty good. Spotlight search, actually the same. And by the way, these are fresh installs of iOS 9 and iOS 10. So for anyone asking about that, they are brand new installs. And app switcher, one, two, ah, pretty much the same. I like the animations on iOS 10. They feel more fluid. And settings, one, two, just about the same sub menu, a little bit faster on iOS 9. App Store, one, two. iOS 9 still loaded that one faster. And camera. Hmm. Pretty much the same, a little bit faster on iOS 9. So still on the 5S, you're not going to see a downgrade in performance. It is exactly the same. iPhone 6S. Well, let's try that fingerprint sensor. One, two. Ooh, iOS 9. And with the screen on. One, two, so just about the same. Control center, notification center, app switcher, one, two. Mm, pretty good animations, very fluid on iOS 10. And settings, actually loaded up faster on iOS 10. Wow, a little bit of a jump there. And uh, app store, one, two. iOS 9 still loaded this one faster. 
and camera one two wow look at that that's a clear advantage for iOS 10 with the camera so I wanted to load up Pokemon Go here one two hmm. Just about the same, so I couldn't say there's a difference there. iPhone 6s, again with the fingerprint sensor, screen on, one, two. And pretty much the same, it's screen off, one, two. So just about the same. Control center, hmm, delay, notification center, pretty much the same. Even though this one has more to the notification center, it's still loading just about the same. App switcher, one, two, hmm, one, two. Very, very fluid on iOS 10, I love it. And gonna clear everything out real quick. And settings one, two. Loaded first on iOS 10. Sub menus are the same. App Store one, two. Still loaded faster on iOS 9. Don't know what's up with that. And camera. There we go. So exactly the same. So no performance detriment on the 6S either. And finally, the SE, the fastest of the bunch. One, two. Oh, a little bit slower there. Screen off, pressing now. And yeah, it does have a delay. Hmm. Control center, pretty much the same. Notification center, both very responsive. And app switcher, one, two. Yeah, so guys, I'm doing all these animations and they all feel exactly the same. A little bit smoother on iOS 10 even. Settings, one, two. So I'm really liking what I see here. And app store. So the web-based part seems a little slower on iOS 10 for some reason. But lastly, let's do the Geekbench and see what we got. And here's that Geekbench. So very interesting results. I'm seeing some patterns. iOS 10 is on the left. This is the 5, 5S, 6, 6S, and SE. So iOS 10 seems to have a lower multi-core score on every single device. I don't know if that's a coincidence, but it's happening on every single device. And the single core score is for the most part a little bit higher on iOS 10 on most devices. So it seems to me like it's not that big of a difference at all. In terms of animations, you're certainly getting the speed, but the actual numbers here are very interesting. And for the most part, pretty consistent Wi-Fi speed test results. So iOS 10 even did better on the iPhone 5 in terms of download speeds. But there it is guys, iOS 10. So in conclusion, I just wanna say for anyone that's concerned about updating iOS 10 and losing any sort of performance, you really won't. In fact, you'll gain additional storage, you'll gain better animations, faster closing of apps, and really there's nothing to be afraid of. It's the exact same performance across the board on all devices versus iOS 9. And that's what surprises me. So good job, Apple, great release. It's only going to get better. Have a great day, guys. Peace.